Well, it was eclipse day across the valley, but lots of clouds definitely getting in the way of those views. And we'll have more clouds mm -hmm. over the next, say, 24 to 36 hours. We have a frontal boundary moving our way, and that promises to deliver rain and thunderstorm threat our direction. Imagine that. Tell you what, 72 degrees overnight tonight. Winds are going to be increasing overnight, 15 to 25, gusting to 35. So as you head out the door in the morning, expect it to be mild, expect it to be cloudy and breezy. See, there you go. One, two, three, 74 to 76 degrees from 7 to 8 a.m. And by noon, it's 86 degrees in the forecast, 90 by afternoon. Holy smokes. Southeast wind will really be doing double duty to get it warmed up and keep it humid across the valley. Those winds out of the south, southeast, 15 to 25, gusting to 35. That's just plain old breezy around these parts. And uh, no exceptions, Hidalgo County, 90 to 91 degrees from West Dakota McAllen and lots of clouds. I'm not saying we won't see the sun peek through now and again, but at least we're going to have more clouds than sun for certain. Now, tomorrow night's kind of a special forecast because that's when things change up a whole bunch. And we have a frontal boundary moving through. It's the tail of a much larger system moving across Texas. And it promises to at least bring us a 30% chance for rain and rumbles. So that's encouraging. We need some rain around here, right? Right. So in graph form, it's a little easier to see here. From 11 o'clock tomorrow night through 3 o'clock in the morning, maybe 4 o'clock in the morning, Wednesday morning, that's when we stand to have this opportunity. Here's a look at it with Futurecast showing that Tuesday afternoon, we're still in the cloud thing. The frontal boundary itself is making its way our way, stretching from uh, Oklahoma on down into Mexico, and it's the leading edge of cooler, drier air. So we've got two different air masses here. You've got the warmer and more humid air over us. I mean, goodness knows, it was almost soupy out there today. And then that frontal boundary, the leading edge of the cooler, drier air, that's the boundary where those two air masses are rubbing together, and that's where you can get storms exploding. So this is the way it's going to play out Wednesday early, like midnight to 1 a.m., that's what we expect, have a chance for a few showers, some thunderstorms along that line, but then it'll kind of slip off to the north, northeast toward Corpus Christi while the front moves through our atmosphere, which just doesn't want to play ball. You know, off to the north where this is happening, because it's sliding through Dallas and College Station and you know Houston and whatnot, they'll have a much better opportunity because their atmosphere is ready to pop. Ours is not, ours is more stable. So as the front moves through, We'll just have to hopefully settle for some rain and some rumbles. And then nice and windy on the backside. Oh, yeah, Wednesday's going to be a real interesting day with a lot of dry air coming on in by the bucket full. Here you see, I want to show you this again, the same playback, but with lightning. And it kind of demonstrates just a little bit more soundly how this uh, cluster of activity is expected to roll along that front and move off toward the northeast, leaving the majority of the valley out of the picture. But things can always change. You know, the thunderstorms can influence their surroundings uh, more so than you think. So we're going to keep an eye on it. Nonetheless, the Storm Prediction Center has the majority of the valley in the general thunderstorm category. That's the meh category. But then off to the north, just skirting along our northern fringe, the first category of severe weather potential. And then you go off to the north north. And you can see that it gets really ugly uh, from Corpus Christi to Victoria, San Antonio, and then even more so Austin, Waco, Houston, and up towards Shreveport, Tyler, you name it. So the seven-day forecast keeps us in mind with the front moving through before sunrise Wednesday and breezy, dry conditions settling in, which will leave us with the most wonderful Thursday and Friday. If you don't need rain, this is a forecast for you because the end of the week is looking fantastic.